Hey guys, what we're going to talk about today is the new Saika 8 inch semi flex fillet knife. This knife just came into stock uh, a couple of weeks ago, so it's available uh, around the traps. And what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be swapping out our 7 inch fillet knife in Saika for the 8 inch semi flex into our fisherman's packs. So that particular way is going to go into there. So what the pack will now come with will be the 6 inch curved boner, the 8 inch semi flex fillet knife which can be used for filleting and skinning and the nice big 12 inch in the slicer which we use for uh, skinning which I'll show you in a moment. The pack comes standard with the 10 inch steel which is normal and our canvas wraps are all made in the AOS factory and they are proudly Australian made. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, we've been out for a fish today and we were successful, got a nice juke fish here that we're just going to take a fillet off. I normally use the curved boner for this particular job on a fish like this one here. So I'll just run you through and show you how I would normally do it. There's lots of different ways and lots of different styles. As long as it works for you, that's the main thing. Just up over the rib cage there a little bit. Uh, sorry, up over the backbone a little bit. And down the other side. Making sure we go all the way down to the actual bone to get as much fill it off as we can. Come up over the top of the rib cage here. And again, just keep the knife down nice and flat. What I will be doing later on is I actually take the wings out, which I'll also show you how I do it. So there's my fillet straight off there. Not left too much on the actual backbone itself. What I'll now show you is the slicing knife in action. So just come in at the tail, just get down and make a start. Once you've made that start, pretty simple, just grab hold of the tail, or the, the bottom of the tail part of the uh, fillet itself. Keep the knife bent down and nice and flat, just slightly angled downwards, and you should be able to take that fillet off. Just beautiful like that one there. So that's ready now to go. Nothing left on the actual skin. I'll show you how we actually take the wings off. Got my uh, side fishing pack here. I'm gonna get the boning knife. It's a pretty straightforward process because you, once you've done, done the actual fillet, I always actually leave a fair bit on there so I enjoy the wings. I actually grab, grab the actual head, just crack it a little bit and just up the top in here, you'll see there's two sections of bone. You just come straight up over the top of that one there and straight back around underneath. Normally it's not quite that difficult. Once you're through there, again, you can just come straight down through the bottom side there. From that side, come straight down to the actual Anal passage, flip your fillet over. Same on this side, give it a quick little crack, just come straight underneath that section there, straight back over the top of that bit of bone, it's that hard bit right there that we're getting around. Down through there, again, just run straight through here, and straight down to the actual anal section. That's gonna come straight out. You can see we've got a nice set of wings sitting right here. Obviously I'll need to run some water over those and clean those guys up. And just run the fillet knife or the knife through and just tidy up a few of these little sections through here. But as you can see, that was very quick and easy. The other thing that I would normally do once I've cleaned it all up, just run a knife straight through the middle here. If you want to butterfly them, and just straight down. Once you butterfly that, it pops open, and there you have your perfect wing ready to go. Just needs to have a wash, obviously. Thank you.